Alrighty, and we are in game here now. Um, here to cast the Boston versus Atlanta match. Let me swap the team sides. And for this game, I have Bees here with me to cast. This one will be his first cast that he has done, so you can show some love to him. Hello. Um, all right, so this is a big mashup, and I should actually bring up the standings here so that I can see exactly what we're looking at, especially after that last game. Let me pull that up while we're waiting. All right, there's that. So in the standings, I know they're the number two and number three team currently. So Boston is now at seven and one. And Atlanta is at five and two. So I guess technically, even if Boston were to drop this game, that would still leave them at seven and two and would put Atlanta to six and two. Why is La why is Atlanta behind a game? Am I crazy? Has it been updated since last seven, game? Seven. They both played seven games. Or, yeah, maybe Boston's already been updated. No, because this is their... Does Atlanta have two games this weekend? Let me look here. Yeah, this is last week's Atlanta game. So maybe... Has Atlanta not played their week this week's game? Oh, this week's game versus, versus Chengdu has not been at one. So yeah, Ch Atlanta won as well. So that would put them up to... Six and two. Which means, yeah, so whichever team, so Boston is ahead. They are at seven and one. Atlanta is at six and two. So if they won this one, they would be tied for, they would be tied for games one and it would come down to map differential, which currently Atlanta is, uh, is behind by three. So if Atlanta was to win this one, then it would depend what happens next week who would be in the standings because they would actually be tied both on wins and on map differential i believe so that's kind of crazy if i'm reading this all correctly but that is assuming that atlanta 3 is boston um if they tie or if atlanta if boston even took a single map off of them then they would still be ahead in map differential so some definitely some big implications for this match um atlanta needs to win in order to get that tie um otherwise boston will be two whole games uh, ahead of them making it really hard for atlanta to try and get into that top two where they would like to be in order to uh solidify their their um not being able to go or not or be able to skip that first round of playoffs but either way both these teams should be in the playoffs anyway all right, let's look at the rosters here. <clears throat> I think this is going to be a very interesting tank lineup matchup. Um, Womp Domp, which I love that name so much, <laughs> it looked really good last week, as well as um, Acid, who is their, the Masters tank for Atlanta. So they should have a really strong tank line. But Storm Gig and Nightmare looked really, really strong in their last game as well. They really did. Like Storm Gig really pulled out all the stops for on, especially on Monkey. I think that was really impressive. Mm -hmm. seeing, uh, his primal juggling and everything. Yeah, that was nice. And Womp Domp actually played a lot of Monkey too. So I'm hoping we'll see some more Monkey. I love watching uh, Winston gameplay. Um, so I'm hoping we'll see. I also, I kind of coined the phrase Womp Domp Stomp <laughs> whenever he gets a kill <laughs> with the with the jump pack. So I hope we see some of that. Um, hopefully some double bubble coming out on both sides or maybe even just some vanilla dive. Um, and then the DPS lineups are actually pretty interesting too. Anime Saint, Dab Master versus Triton and Onda. I think it's pretty even like so far, like these lineups looking very, very close. Uh, it comes down to the support lineups, which is Charlie and Magnomaly versus EDP and Spoon, which Spoon is Crimson Rose is what I've been told. Um, I probably will not use the, that name, unfortunately. Like, my brain just doesn't work well that way. Uh, I struggle enough trying to keep Onda straight 
because mine just sounds weird, so I, I like saying Honda, but we'll see if I can remember the other. Um, so I'm going to look here at Magnomaly, because I don't really remember. Oh, I guess we can ready up here. Uh, so Magnomaly, ooh, 24.99 peak this season. Oh, they were cutting it real close uh, oh, on that yeah. one. But uh, so that should be really good value out of that player. And then Charlie, I believe, is also really solid for their star. Yeah, Platt. And they've looked really good whenever I, I've seen them play. Um, now, Crimson on the Ana there on that last map was getting some nasty antis. Oh so they looked God. really good, too. Um, this should be a really good matchup. I, I would definitely have to agree. Especially with the, with the antis uh, from Spoon. Or, yeah. So... Now arriving they were they were Venus. really big and it was happening like at least twice a fight yeah really impressive i mean that is if you're gonna play on it in this meta you got to be kind of doing that otherwise you don't get more value than bap but they were doing it and they were just winning off of it yeah definitely forcing out that lamp early uh it's gonna get a lot of value especially oh okay <laughs> that really confused me for a second mm -hmm. um but uh especially um since uh, just a lamp is such a important cooldown especially when compared to nade oh it's a it's a long cooldown too nade is yeah. is much faster cooldown so that's something to take into account um so what do you expect to see from these two teams i'm expecting probably meta but do you think we'll see any widow on this map um i'm really not sure i Ready think probably not i think we'll just see i think we'll see kree instead of a widow here mm. uh especially since just widow against brawl is not a very good matchup uh the only the only thing is like um you know if they do have a widow all you have to do is switch diva and then you just win yeah now we did see in the last matchup that boss or uh, uh, that london did not have that diva player fortunately for atlanta i do think they actually do have acid who is a very solid diva so if they need to pull that out they will have that option nightmare also showing that they had a strong diva so both these teams do have the the option very different comps rolling out though it is very heavy dive versus the double bubble or very heavy brawl i mean versus the, the double bubble dive comp on the other side immor already forced and we talked about how that's a huge cooldown and uh Onda already getting a pick on to magnomaly this is gonna be pretty rough for um, Atlanta, but Atlanta still has a chance to take this fight. Will not even get to touch the point, though, with Womp Dump getting slept, and now both supports are down. If you are Atlanta, you need to be pulling out or dying, and man, Onda just getting in there. Storm Gig with the stomps here, double kill with it, and uh, there will be a very dominant fight win there for Boston. Still looking really strong coming out. Maybe a little bit of them being warmed up and, and Atlanta just uh, having to get a bit warmed up. But Dab immediately over onto the Genji. Womp Domp onto the, the Stomper himself and adds it over onto the Diva. So Dive Comp now um, for both sides. I'm definitely excited for this. Uh, especially, I, I love Winston gameplay. Same. It'll be really interesting watching Double Bubble go against traditional Dive. So I'm give already up to this primal. He can get extremely aggressive onto the back line. Goes in on the supports. We'll get stunned. Ooh, but Acid gets the Ana on the other side. Spoon down. Um, almost had the Nano as well. Primal being invested by Storm. Nobody down from Atlanta, but they are starting to get a bit low. However, they do have their support still alive. Or Spoon is down on the other side. Can they get this Zarya? I think that's a big pick up right before the grab comes through. Nice dig. That was huge. That was huge. Um... Just back and forth, but I do think it looks like Atlanta will be winning this fight. I think that the swap up in the comps, I think, was really, really smart. I'm surprised they kept the Reaper, but I guess Reaper is strong against Winston. So, and also yeah. may just be a comfort pick. I would, I definitely think that the deciding factor in winning these uh, is the Echo here, because Echo just has such insane burst damage that, you know, it doesn't matter what they're going against, uh, they'll just die immediately. Oh yeah, Echo is still, she's been nerfed several times and is still busted. It's kind of like Brig. Ooh, Nano, Blade. He's coming out. Ooh, and the Immort. He will just give up on that kill. Doesn't get anything out of that. Trying to get the BAP, but, or he's trying to get the Brig and grab now. Will get the BAP, but two have been traded back from Dab Master, Anime Saint. Also on the Winston, double Winston jumps coming through. They have the Primal, but won't get to go through. And man, what do you, 
Did you want to see more out of that blade there? I felt kind of disappointed. That, that was, I think just the timing of it all was just kind of underwhelming. A bit I think odd. if they wait just a little bit later, they can easily get at least two with that blade. Uh, well, they, waiting they invested for their tanks the, to engage in as well. They invested the grab as well and didn't get anything. And now you see the swap coming over. Ana did look extremely good on the Echo earlier. Yeah, the you see Rally come out there. Oh, yeah, that's a fight win. Just, <laughs> a fight win automatically, unfortunately, but they, they traded Rally for um, beat here, and that is not a worth trade ever. No, and Womp Dump just yeets Nightmare off the map. Nice piece of there. Oh, although Triton does get a late pick onto Dab Master, and there's no res available. No mercies being played here. I, I'm enjoying this style. I like this style a lot more than the, the Brawl to watch. Um, right now, especially after the last match was just all brawl, it's nice to see something a little bit different. The visor from Triton. Ooh. Anime right into that visor, but did have the fade up and has the ultimate Bump bomb. Ooh! Bump Bump is playing extremely aggressive right now. Oh, and the Reaper ult. Nice DM onto oh the Reaper ult. that's awesome. And make that four. Honestly, I think they've switched on the Echo a little too late because if they switch on the Echo, uh, or if, um, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Boston fr switches on the Echo a fight earlier, they get coffee, and I think it's winnable for them. Mm hmm. Um, but that was a huge blossom at the end there to clean up the rest of that fight. It was enormous, and, and the nice DM onto it, so there was nothing really that could be done to stop it. Um, I think they didn't swap to the Echo right away because they wanted that Nano Blade, and in theory that should be a win condition, especially because they also invested the grab into that fight. But in the mm -hmm. end, um, neither of those ultimates got them the fight win, and that's I really think that's what gave it to Atlanta. But huge win for Atlanta coming out um, out of the gate up a map, and now you see them going back to the brawl. Also, Boston on the brawl. This is this more what I expected from this match because I think both these teams like. Um, the Brawl comps, and, and it's going to be really interesting. The Reaper versus the May. Which do you think you prefer here? Uh, I definitely prefer the May. Uh, May is just kind of a free fight win if you just wall off the Rhine, which unfortunately they did not do there. So this this fight could be a little hard for them to win unless May gets that wall back. For sure. And the nice thing in that matchup is, oh, anime gets picked early, is at least with your Reaper, you can break the wall really quickly. But here it is. Wall onto the Rhine. Immort has to yep. be forced already just to keep him up. And he's so low. We'll go down. Dab getting one pick off onto the Lucio. But in the end, once again, it is Boston just taking the point without even a fight really going on. And, and Atlanta then having to try and push on. And this time, they're not able to win the fight again. So... I think Boston is just being a little bit faster on the rotations here, and, and I think mm -hmm. you're gonna you're gonna hope that Atlanta can maybe turn up their speed because they're kind of giving, especially when there's a May on the other side. You don't want to give them that position on point. Yeah, everybody definitely has to stack onto the Rhine, and also a huge pick on the May that they can't even advance now. They just have to wait. I think that's a May diff right there. Certain <laughs> <laughs> dominance. Look at the charge. Damaster had to swap over. Now it's May Reaper, not even the Kree. Um, so they're going to want to play super, super fast, right? Because you need to be up close for that Reaper to get value. Otherwise, the Kree will get so much more as, ooh, nice Fire Strike combo. Doesn't get a pick off. The wall will negate some of that value. Immort forced as well, though. A lot of cooldowns. Anime had to use Wraith. Window now up. Oh, yeah. oh, Anime's no. having to use uh, Teleport to get back into the fight because he went so far out. Gets high noon, and the freeze with the wall was just incredibly brutal. That will be the fight. One with just, well, I guess both DPS ults were invested there for Boston, but you look, Dab's only 50% to that Mayo, Anime's only 50%. Like, potentially, uh, you could see another ult pretty much by the time that they even get to use theirs. You can almost see another ult um, well, built completely. up for Boston. Acid. I think something that's definitely like working against our favors um, Boston's running Cree. And yeah. so. Ryan can just not play, or not Ryan though. Reaper can just not play in the Kree. Double grab. <laughs> the Shatter though had gotten two down, but it's still somehow Atlanta, even though that Shatter had gotten two and the grabs were traded, they are still winning this. It's a 3v2 and it's just Lucio there. The other one retreated. Lucio will touch for the last second. It is overtime, so it wasn't necessary. Uh, we'll get staggered a little bit, but in the end, 99%. Look how low Acid was. It was just his, uh -huh. his own health.
uh, his old regen uh, of his shields there that had kept him alive. And Ultakami's not super, super great for Boston. So you would think Atlanta can hold on for a little bit. But you're going to have to be really careful if you are Atlanta with the ult that you invest here. Otherwise, you're going to yeah. get snowballed eventually. Shatter right into the shield. That's brutal. Enemy saying I believe is going to be looking for a death blossom here. High noon to zone. They use the wall. Nice. They're just waiting it out. But look, they're rotating to the point. You can't let them do this. They ult in. Will not get anyone at all. Now you're going to have to invest the Reaper ult as well, I think. Is looking for a bit of a flank. The wall blocks him off. I think he's gonna TP in the back and the death blossom. Here it comes. There's no immort. Does it right away and even though the male comes out, a nice bubble to keep anime alive. And once again a huge death blossom to keep them alive on this point. But look how close they were to losing the point. Oh that, uh... man. Uh, uh, Atlanta definitely had to invest a lot of ults there to win. And I think um, the that Boston actually caught up in ult economy because of that. Mm -hmm. uh, do you see the uh, Pharah swap though? What do you think of that? No mercy. Oh, um, I think it could work in their favor right now, especially since I don't have any long range hit scan. Like this, this may really have to step it up. Yeah, there was a huge grab though. And honestly, look at the percentage now. Atlanta, 90%. Can they even touch? I think the Farah, the Farah is hovering in the back. They don't know. Actually, no, their BAP doesn't know. Can Charlie get this pick? Nah, Charlie doesn't quite see them. Will be on, to, on the point. Gets the stall get through. Lucio's back. There's a Tracer. And gets the Lucio. Shatter won't get anything. Dab gets Lucio on the other side. Oh, Both Shatters. Oh, no. The grab in the window. This could be this brutal. This might be it. That is, that is going to be it. The Ferris surviving in the back with barely an HP. But in the end, Boston will clean this up. And I don't think there's anyone. The Lucio's trying to touch. But there's no way. Too far away. And that will be them leveling up the or i mean evening up the score here uh on score. ilios i definitely One. think that the their win con there was trying to find that far as fast as possible and then fortunately they just did not they were not able to uh or uh atlanta was not able to find her in time for them to clean her up before she touches yeah, that was a little bit sad for them. They were so close to bringing that round back 99 to 99, which they did do a good job. But eventually, it is just one of those things where it's like old economy did come out in the favor of uh, Boston because they had so much time. And now we're going to well. And look at this Tracer May from uh, Boston, whereas it's the Cree May from the other side. Oh, soldier, soldier made, it turns out. Ooh, interesting. All right, I know Triton does really, really like his soldier. Both teams will meet over on this right side of the point, or I guess it depends on where you're coming from, but um, we'll have the battle on the inside. Picking up positioning. The wall is already wall is out. out. from both teams. It's a nice stun there from Dab, but no one's hide yet. Both inwards already down. Womp Dump needs some healing here. Very low. Deals with the fire strike when he was low. I don't really like that very much. Wall will oh, no. block the mob. But Dab stuck out against the wall. will go down. I think they might even get some staggers. No, I don't think they will. Acid will be guarding his back line. Getting out. But once again, Boston was the first cap. Honestly, I'm very impressed for, uh, from these walls from mine. Um, they're very well placed and actually well thought out. So. Yeah. Yeah, incredibly, doing an incredible job uh, with those those May walls. And then also something we did talk about is Nightmare over onto the Diva now instead of the Zarya. Wall to block off the, the window. Oh, don't pick that night or walk up. Be careful. Oh, Shatter, nothing. Wow, I thought that was going to get the May for sure. Immort was invested from both sides, so now it is an even fight. Womp Dump building up to his own, own Shatter, but I think the Mayo's going to come. Yep, there it is. Nothing to eat it. There's no May on their team. That is a huge freeze. Dying yet though somehow they kept them all alive. Atlanta is still in this fight with the B invested as well. Mom, I'm thinking anything with the shatter. Still, no one's died. This is like a goat's oh. match right now. Ooh, the bap on the or the boop on the bap. Visor right into the shield, right into the wall. Bomb into the back though. Their own wall kind of blocking it, but oh, does get McNomaly. Flank noon, but man, nice from Nightmare to block that off. And Triton putting the two cleanup kills. 
is a 3v4, make that a 3v2, or, the, or a 4v2, I mean. And in the end, again, after that super long fight, 73% now, Boston has taken that fight again. That was very unfortunate for uh, Atlanta there, especially with how many ults they invested into that. Mm -hmm. um, but they did end up, uh, I think, coming up uh, like net even there. Ult economy they are ahead of, but Nightmare can eat up either of those ults on the other side with some very nice true. DM. Comes the Mayo, does not get eaten, does but is behind a wall. So they actually just LOS it. Four man shatter oh. coming out. Grab eaten as well. Oh no, that will be Boston taking this first map. Very close between the first, uh, especially that second round was very, very close, but I think Boston just, they get into position faster and they, they, um, are able to always get first control, and I think that really, really helps them uh, in the, on this particular map. Yeah, I think that Atlanta needs to try to uh, catch Boston on those rotations, and um, that's just kind of what's really screwing them over here. And Storm Kick and Nightmare looking incredible on these tanks, and Nightmare we've seen, he's got a good Sigma, he's got a good Zarya, he's got a good D.Va, but I think I've been most impressed probably with the D.Va so far. Um, being able to eat up that grab, uh, was able to block the flanking high noon, just getting a lot of value out of a character that is sometimes considered a, a very, very difficult character to play. I was, I was definitely impressed by his diva. Um, being able to, uh, pressure their DPS, like even with a, even with a May, he was still able to pressure the DPS and, um, uh, you know, just being able to eat that last grab, that was kind of really big for them. Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, you're running into a Mei and a Zarya. Like, normally you would think that that's a really hard matchup, but was able to get a ton of value out of it. And uh, just looking really good. I mean, Boston, they, they came they came back. They 3-0'd in the last matchup, which which was a good game. But, you know, London had been looking really solid, and they, they made them definitely made uh, themselves look like the stronger team in that matchup. And now coming out here, Atlanta, who is was you know ranked number two for a lot of the season is ranked number three has looked very good throughout the entire season and, and they do take the first map off of them not the uh, not a full full sweep but like especially that last map was the full hundred to zero so looking really really good we do have some potential swaps that could come through i'm interested to see if either team would decide to sub anyone in but these rosters, I think, probably are what's going to be run. They look, I think this is probably kind of like the, the main rosters for each. So should be interesting to see if they make any swaps or not. It was honestly incredibly close. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to lie. I think Atlanta kind of surprised me with that, with that very first map one. Yeah, yeah, they came out looking really strong. <laughs> and then, unfortunately, the, they were so close to taking that second round, too. If they had just been able to stop them from touching, I think it was a, it was a shame that Charlie didn't see the Pharaoh. He went up to look for her, he heard her, and then just barely missed her. If he could have gotten that kill, they potentially would have just taken that first map there. Um, we'll now go to Havana, which I think is very brave from them. Uh, I mean, this is a double sniper map normally is what you think of. You can run Brawl. You can run dive, but normally you think of it normally as like a double sniper map. Triton, mm -hmm. I know, is very good on the Widow. Also <laughs> likes the Soldier, which is like you can just run around and kind of get some value out of that. Um, I think Onda, if I remember right, also has a really good Hanzo for Boston. So it'll be interesting. I don't know if I've seen anime on any snipers. I normally think of him as more of like a May, uh, Doom kind of player. Uh, he's got some Reaper, all that kind of stuff. Was looking good on the Reaper, but... Uh, I, I'm assuming maybe Atlanta wants to try and go for like an early hold with like a brawl comp and try and force that, but we'll see what they end up doing. Um, uh, go ahead. Okay, I was gonna say I really do not like Soldier in this meta or right now where he is in in general. Mm -hmm. uh, he just he's not able to. Uh, also, sorry about the background. Um, but he's not able to. Uh properly like sustain his off angles because he, you know he needs he needs to focus on one person um but while like playing brawl or <clears throat> even well, he can't really be played in dive but while playing brawl you're just shooting a shield for the most part you have to play with your ryan or else they're just all gonna go on you yeah well i think so i, I definitely think that's a comfort pick 
we see Triton has played mm-hmm. more soldier than I think anyone in the entire league all season. Uh, I don't think it is ideal, but he makes it work and they, they play around it well. So it'll mm-hmm. be interesting to see whether they can, whether he pulls it out or whether he tries to make it work here or whether they will just um, maybe pull out the widow or the Hanzo or something along those lines. Um, looking in chat here, it looks like somebody was saying you were pretty quiet. I tried turning you up a bit. So if, if it still needs to be turned up or something, let me know. I'd I turned myself up as well. Okay, so I think hopefully <clears throat> we are we're good there. If it's too loud or too quiet, let me know. Otherwise, it looks like we got some people for that are hoping that uh, Atlanta can take it. <laughs> we got Mosquito saying 13 reasons why Kree is infinitely better <laughs> than Reaper and Brawl, which, yeah, I think so. They both have their advantages, but I do think there's a reason why Kree is being run at the highest level and being run it's in like contenders stun. stun is just incredible the range damage right you don't have to be in the face of the enemy team to get value um i think reaper was really good with like reaper sombra when you're running like moira and you were literally just wanting to get right like literally smash your faces into the enemy team but now there is more of a poke phase and anytime there's a more of a poke phase the the kree is going to be getting more value than the reaper is Oh, for sure. And I think Kree overall just helps um <clears throat> helps end up winning the frontline battle like way faster uh than Reaper would because uh you know Kree has that long long range uh damage like you said and then if the Kree needs to he can always get up close stun the Rhine and then your Rhine can just swing for free. Mm-hmm. Uh so I just I don't I think that there is there is no real upside to running a Reaper over a uh, over a Kree, in my opinion. No, it's really hard, especially uh, especially when they're running a Diva on the other side because of the fact that you can just DM the Reaper roll. Like you'd say, maybe the Reaper roll's better than the High Noon, although High Noon's really good for zoning, breaking shields, maybe even getting a pick off here or there. But um, Reaper roll, like if you have a Diva, it's so easy to just. <laughs> You just hold right click on him and he gets zero value and he just insta dies even if he gets bubbled uh, and he doesn't die it, it still just doesn't get any value and then as soon as it's over he has to rate out and the whole time he's rating mm-hmm. anytime he's rating out he's getting zero value and yeah so in the end kree is just just good yeah yeah it's what, what mosquito said reaper is getting brush not brawl and there is a yeah. difference there even though it is it seems very similar Close play styles, but definitely not the same. No, by, yeah, it's different because it's what I was talking about earlier, right? Normally it was like Reaper Sombra. I mean, you can run Reaper May in, in Rush 2, but it was it's normally like the Moira Lucio is what you're looking at instead of like the Baps. See, Baps, like, again, poke. You want that poke. Moira's like, you want to smash your faces together and just run them over. And there is some slight di- differences there um, as we are ready whenever. Um... I saw something else somebody said. Oh, anime stick to Doom. That's what you got. I, I will be interested to see if anime does go onto the Doom because I-, I agree. I think anime has looked the best on Doom Fist. It just depends whether they think that they can get away with that against Boston. Because Doom normally is a character that kind of preys on bad positioning or mm-hmm. like a lack of peel. And you wouldn't really expect those two things from Boston. Boston. You, you really expect to be a very clean team. Um, so, I, I been, go ahead. They've been playing really, really close together. Uh, yeah. Like, really compact and playing Brawl like it should be played. Uh, and also, uh, on my, my, my thoughts on Doom really fast. Uh, Doom is not very good with, um, with Brawl whatsoever. Or uh, at least against it. Um, I think... Honestly, he's better for poke running Arisa, uh, going for you know the uh, big slams and whatnot, um, with uh, comboing with pull. Uh, I just don't think he can get that much value uh, in brawl, especially since I, other than just blind punching into the enemy team. I think. So yeah, the thing with Doomfist is if you're gonna run him in brawl, and actually Doomfist has been run significantly in contenders lately in these brawl comps. Mm-hmm. Instead of the May, and the thing is, you're, it was the same matchup, and it happened in a different meta, which was again Reaper. I think it was Reaper May at the time, and people swapped it over to Doomfist because the potential is to get an instant pick, and that's yeah. huge. You can win right off that, but you're trading consistent value 
for the potential of an, an, an insta pick which if you don't get it and if you if i'd say if you're doing it 50 50 you're probably going to lose more because you're not getting the consistent value doom ult is not as good as may ult walls are better than you know there's no utility for doom fist so you have to be very very consistent at getting like the one shot combos or putting a ton of damage in to the enemy team in order to make that worth it um so i i just don't really see that being a big option here we have seen look at this swap up anime onto the tank hyper nut dab master now onto Attack the dps hyper nut i i've seen them play before i forget exactly i believe they are a hit scan player they are plat yeah hit scan plat player um so it will be arisa ryan something from both sides maybe although nightmare might be swapping swapping off this but i would be so surprised like this is such a rare oh. comp to see and for both of them to be hovering Five, it right now is really four, interesting three, two, oh triton's kind of leaving us hanging here okay ends up switching to uh Soldiers. Kind of soldier. Ooh, that's huge damage coming out from Onda already on the Farah. Kind of an awkward angle for um, Atlanta to try and deal with um, the DPS from from uh, Boston, who are kind of flanking around. Nice damage coming in here from both teams. And my 50% to the ult. Ooh, but Magnomaly goes down outside of the Immort. Un uh, just barely was outside of that. Really unfortunate there. Hypernet gets a stun onto the Pharah, but Triton takes down Charlie. There's no more healing here for the side of um, Atlanta, and they will just start dying here. They get two picks back, but in the end, uh, it's just Wolf here, who we also didn't talk about. Wolf is also in on the tank, and they will end up starting to push this cart. A minute taken off the clock, so that's good for the side of Atlanta. But in the end, you see a swap to Dive Master on the Ash. Double hit scan now. Magnomaly over onto the Lucio. Will still be the farmer seeing. Oh my goodness. Triton just wow. leading Hypernet there. Honestly, I really love the Ferret pick on first point Havana. Uh, while it's scary against double sniper, if they're just not running double sniper, you have free angles to take. Especially because they saw they were wanting to hold up close. And as soon as you see that, like, Farmers, it can be a really good option because normally there will be the May or something like those lines. Sure. Oh, BAP from Spoon goes down to Hypernet, who is now pushing over onto Triton. Also, Wolf Diving Triton, really nice to done there, but two picks back now. Both hit scans down. Valk out. The Ferris should be free. Window up. Raj in the back line. Charlie down, but now traded it out. Oh, oh no! A lot of ults coming out here. Yeah, Triton shutting down Hypernut though. Anime thing going down. The mech is gone. It is just Magnomaly trying to stall on the Mercy here on the cart, but we'll get taken down. <laughs> Bunch of melees coming in, and I don't think they'll get a, another contest here onto this point. Yeah, I, I would imagine that we're going to see them swap, swap off far because far is really weak second point, and yep. they, they do. Immediately swap off. The Kree. Uh, but, man, Triton's kind of just lasering them down, honestly. Yeah. Taking, I mean, the, taking that angle, making the Diva commit on them, uh, kind of really big. Well, the thing about, yeah, we said we don't really like Soldier, but the thing is, it's now double hit scan versus double hit scan, and I think Soldier does a lot more shield poke then the ash will and the double shield from his side so they're just going to be melting shields constantly and i think it's going to be a real struggle for atlanta if they don't get in here they almost want to play brawl with the diva but they can't brawl because they don't have the dps for it yeah oh and now the the arisa ults out that's going to be so much damage diva into the back line and they also took out the mercy the immor and the bongo lots of things going down for triton with his off angle beaming down poor old dab but the tank line does get the win there bob was invested um bomb was invested from the, the defense of atlanta but um now nightmare over under the diva one to match that pick and it will be almost a matchup uh, a, a match except for the difference being the ash versus the soldier and the mercy versus the lucio the one thing I like about Ash over Soldier is just the, the ability to of Dynamite. But now that they have D.Va, Dynamite should not be an issue whatsoever for Boston. Mm -hmm. I think you'd argue Bob is also a much better ultimate than Visor. Shatter right into the shield. Unfortunately, that shield was about to break too. 
But now Storm Gig has his chance. Does not want to do it into the window. Will drop down below. Start pushing cart. Nicely done by Nightmare to have that position in. Storm Gig still looking for the shatter. Oh, coming up onto the high ground. We'll shatter the Diva. Not the most impactful shatter. High noon. Not getting anyone. Triton Visor. Pressuring them out, but will not be able to get any kills quite yet. Will be dynamited and will look like it seems that Atlanta once again is going to be able to win this fight. Although Triton does get dab. Nightmare is going to be staggered here a little, little bit. A little bit. Triton will be able to get out though. Rez on the dab. Dab will Bob. I think that's going to be a really nice ult for them. Wolf bomb. Yeah, I think ult's actually pretty even here. I think though you would favor Atlanta in this fight just because of the bob should be really strong for them. Although that her early picks can be really rough. And two. So oh wow. I don't know why Dab was standing there. That would seem really greedy from them. The bomb into the back line does not get anybody. This is really bad for Atlanta. Their Ryan is split off. Anime trying to get out, but will get shut down. Do you see window come out here? Uh, Diva's back. on the Baptiste in the back. Yeah, that's gonna be a win for Boston. Those early picks on the DPS were just not good at all. For the side of Atlanta. Very good for Boston. That's exactly what you want to see for them. And Boston and, uh, and Atlanta have pretty much the exact same ult economy right now. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be... I, I don't know though. Scary, do you yeah. do you prefer Valk or do you prefer B? I think I prefer B a lot in those two. I, I prefer B as well, especially here, uh, because this this map is a win con in itself. Ooh, that's it's a nice pick. such such a hard uh, choke to push through, all the way through. Making this fight though, and they'll be able to hold close, which is really nice, especially because now they have Hypernet on the Widow being able to play way far back, and there's no one that can really can test him well. On the other side, there's no other sniper. Triton almost falls there as well. Anime is kind of by himself though. They're kind of just backing off of cart. And now that Dab Master's down, still has not used this bomb in two fights. Immor should save them, but they're going to be really low. And yeah, that's going to be another fight win here for Boston. And really, just the bomb in the window invested. It feels like Atlanta's kind of hesitant to use their ults for some reason. Like they had good ultimates and they just didn't use them. I, I genuinely think that. Like even even if you get down, um, you, you're you're gonna be able to pop ults just to win the fight. <laughs> that pop ran right into you on his face <laughs> and just got destroyed. Um, that's kind of unfortunate. Now one of their better ults, I think, he will be up to anime to try and land a big shatter to try and stop the momentum here. Looking for it. Shield is low on the other side. Ooh. Ooh, nice headshot onto the ulting soldier. Will get traded out though. From man, onto just way in the back lane, and he gets out as well. How? <laughs> How? Beat invested shattered. Not going to get anything. Bomb in. Nice charge. Still no one down though. And this fight is just all over the place. But all of a sudden, the kill feed just explodes with blue. And that will be even though Triton gets the pickup onto the widow. I don't even know where Triton was. Triton way over there. <laughs> um. That will be Atlanta holding. 30 seconds left, only one ultimate, maybe two. It might actually be bomb shatter combo, which can be really strong for the offense and nothing for the defense here. So actually looking pretty good here if you are at um, oh. Boston. That, that scared me, I thought, they, uh, I thought Nightmare was about to fly off the map there from the coach game. Oh, that's a huge pick though. Hypernet, they got the Immort as well. Can the shatter be big? He's really pressuring down anime. Immort has to come out for anime. Immort's gonna go down. Onto with two again and anime down. Bob on the point to stall. Dab trying to flank, but will get shattered. Just have the mercy to heal him up, and the Bob is pressuring. Wolf down. Now it's just Dab and his mercy, and I don't think they're gonna be able to get anything anything done. McNomley down as well. Nightmare with lots of headshots coming in. Oh, the bomb. Will it get stunned? Ooh! That was kind of a crazy shatter, oh but nothing to follow up on it. Now it is just a stall in overtime, but I think they will end up capping this eventually. It's worth trying to stall, seeing if you can't get a pick maybe, but it is just dab on the tracer, hypernet on the doom, will go down, and that will be a full cap for Boston, which on this map, if you can get a full cap, you are feeling good.
cool. Honestly, I think the thing I've been most impressed he with, he uh, with here are the bombs coming out from the Divas. They're really well placed and uh, able to separate the rest of their team from the tanks. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I don't know, Nightmare has really been... He's been kind of popping off this game. Uh, along with uh, Onda as well. Yeah, Nightmare looked really good in the last matchup. And has looked very good in this one as well. Definitely bringing it to... Um, the tank line of Atlanta now this one's this tank lineup is not the one that has acid in it who is the masters um, off tank but even in the last map it really looked like nightmare was really holding his own against acid so that's really good value if you're if you're being able to get the same value out of somebody who who's considered a diamond to somebody who's considered a masters now obviously the current tank lineup um, for Atlanta is it's super confusing when I open up this thing they always swap but um, wolf is I believe a plan or a diamond okay so wolf is also a diamond tank um, so it's a diamond v diamond matchup there and ooh interesting comps will dab play the Farah they might do the exact same strat as is like swapped they literally just swap now it's the close hold but it's just soldier I think soldiers pretty rough to try and deal with a Farah, but we have seen Triton be really good on the soldier, so maybe um, he will be able to deal with Dab. I've not we're seen, seen Farah yet. We're also seeing Noah reset here as well. Uh, Divas. Yeah, yeah just the Divas, which I think is actually really good here. It will be double projectile from the side of Atlanta, but they get shut down real quick. A nice headshot from Onda onto the Farah to take them out. And they've been pushed back into their own spawn. Hypernet over onto the Widow now, trying to look for a quick pick. I'm not sure what Nightmare's doing right now. He's just roof sliding. He's probably waiting for the bear. He wants the bear to come up there, and then we'll try and kill them. Also, did get a little bit of a flank, but there is no more bear. And dab gets the, the pick. Angle. Yeah, that's nice. Nice off angle from them, too, but Triton is watching it, and we've seen Triton just put so much pressure but now Atlanta is starting to get the pick offs from the double snipers they're taking two different angles making it really hard for the tanks of Boston to shield all that off and in the end this should just be a cleanup um, Triton is oh, way out of there he gone and now uh, will be did start pushing but look at that a minute and 15 seconds off the clock when they just start pushing yeah Oh, sorry, my sister just came in my room. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think Double Sniper is definitely going to be uh, dominant over uh, over the uh, the tank comps that, um, or the DPS comp that uh, Boston's running. You would think Big so. Shatter. But, yeah, with the Shatter and the Freeze coming out, that's going to be a quick fight win for Boston again. They will get the hold, and... The thing is, the double sniper is normally favored on this map, but the tank lineups are more brawl tank lineups, and you've got the speed boost for Boston, and you've got the DPS to back up that brawl, so you're going to be looking at a different play style. Atlanta wants to play slow, they want to poke, they want to look for picks, and Boston's just going to want to run in, and if they can't get those pickoffs on the side of Atlanta, you would favor Boston in these fights. For sure. Ooh, the bomb in. Not quite far enough. We'll just break the shield. Does get Immort, but now the bomb traded back. Same difference, won't get anything here, but the window being very brave, peeking into the window, and they will actually get the pick. Triton with the visor from the high ground. Not really any good targets, we'll have to back out and drop off the high ground. Onto over onto the Widow now. Oh no, Anime Saint Shield is down, very low. Dragon with two though, Dab popping off now on the Hanzo. This is what we needed, we needed to see the picks. Gets a third as well, Diva will be demeked, and finally Atlanta will break this hold. But Onda with that late pick, do they still have res? You know it's a bad thing whenever an ultimate just ends up getting more val- or uh, whenever uh, just uh, an M1 ability, uh, you know, just shooting as Widow gets more value than Soldier's <laughs> ultimate. Uh, it's so- Soldier's ultimate is so useless. It's so bad. It forces some positioning, I guess. Maybe a little bit of cooldowns from like Diva DM, but in the end, that's not really what you want out of an ultimate. And ner yeah. nice early picks here from Atlanta. This is what we again we said they needed picks to win with this comp versus what Boston is playing, and now they will be able to cap this first point with 37 seconds. That even with this loss, like Boston will be very happy with that hold. They took so much time off the clock. Um, hopefully, Atlanta will be able to take positioning here though. Their double snipers should get a lot of value. 
but ooh, immediately the widow down. Hondo I just winning think the last two matchups. I think Hans was just a better pick than oh. either of the either of um, Austin's uh, DPS. Dude. Hanzo is really Hanzo good. Is just so powerful, random spam, lol. Yeah, and and the ultimate, like now he's got that ult again. We saw last time he used it, he was able to get two pickoffs with just a dragon. And look, they're all in that room. If he set that dragon in, it could be really dominating. There it goes in. But Immorts can block both the bomb and that dragon. Does get Spoon down to one HP, but oh, he actually walked out and the Immort was down. That was kind of rough from them. And now the Widow battle here. Going back and forth, but again, Ando wins that one. Hyper Nut down again. Gets Mercy as well. Ando just looking incredible on this Widow. Anime Saint goes down. I think Boslin's gonna come back into this fight. <coughs> Can dab, get the kills here. He's getting DM'd. None of his shots are being able to go out. I think, yeah, it, beaten best. Oh, that was... They will be regretting that one, I think, a little bit. But they have four other ultimates. I, I think they will still be fine. But Honda looking crazy on this Widow right now. Yeah, definitely. He's kind of been popping off. I think he's I think he's reciprocating um uh Dab Master's picks uh from on Hanzo. So mm -hmm. I think that is uh, as long as Onda is getting value here, uh it should should they should be able to hold. Boston should be able flank. to hold. Look at this flank from me. Gets the widow immediately. Oh my lord. Gets the mercy as well! He is on a mission! What is happening in this game? All right, well, Anime Saints now down. Bomb was invested, but that was two ults for the defense and just a couple incredible headshots from Anda. Charlie goes down late. Now there's only 50 seconds left for Atlanta. You know, that play uh, from Anda really reminded me of one of my teammates uh, who also plays Widow. <laughs> um, yeah. Made some pretty creative plays. It's really fun to watch. That is true, that is true. That could be could be a little preview of uh, some Widow battles coming up in the playoffs, potentially. I think that would be very exciting to see. Uh, Dad Master gets Triton down. That's a nice pick. Ooh, Anime also gets the Fire Strike kill on the EDP. And Dad Master gets another pick. There we go. Widow's down. No more clutches from Onda on this point. And now they will clean up. Man, it just seems like Atlanta, every time they're about to be held, are just being able to push it through. I think it's just that, you know, the the last minute adrenaline that comes from, oh crap, we have to win this fight. And you know, that just happens everywhere. Ranked, Mal, Owl. Oh, and that has to get like another pick on Triton. It's crazy, dude. These DPS going back and forth on this map. Looks like it probably will be a fight win again for Atlanta, which is nice for them. They need to really push quickly because they only have one minute. If they, realistically, they can afford to lose maybe this next fight. But if they lose the fight after that, they're done. And, and depending on how long Boston wants to wait, they may just have one last fight left. Ooh, Dabmaster with another pick, though. Oh Dabmaster is just hitting every single headshot possible. He needs to. That's like, that's, that's what really they need. really important here. I think even even Dragon and high ground to make them drop here is going to be huge. Oh, gets hit by that oh bomb. My. That is really bad. 30 seconds. This is what we said, though. They do have time for one quick reset. Dab needs to get out, though. Will die. It is a full reset here. Five ults, though, from the offense to the one, which is Triton's ultimate. Soldier ult, not that great in this situation they may be able to build up to a shatter though and a beat which could be really good for the defense i think soldier ult could uh, force out some uh, awkward positioning though for Mid sure. to make make sure that you know dab can't take as strong as an off angle eaten oh dragon oh here comes visor from super far away not quite getting anything done does get a lot of damage in, but Dab takes down EDPI, or EDP. Oh, oh the shatter. Guy. Triton gets two picks. High noon shut down, though. And it's a 2v2 or a 2v3. <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, 2v2 They're here. They're struggling to find the BAP. Uh, they get the BAP, but it's a two. Now Triton will run away. I think that's smart. Let them have this push. 
Oh, I don't know about that. Do I have the ball now from Anime Saint? I know they wanted to get back fast, but Charge would have gotten back just about as fast. And now Storm Kick on this Ryan is going to be a pain to deal with when you don't have your own Reinhardt. He's just going to walk in here and... I, I do think a well, well placed bomb might be able to clean this up. Oh my goodness, a huge bomb from Wolf. But Storm King already did take out in two. And the, the BAP and the two tanks are just going to be incredibly strong on this point. Ryan just being able to swing away. They need to get this Baptiste down, but... Oh, BAP 1 HP. He doesn't get taken out the Shatter. The bomb wasn't the bomb was too high, but they oh. can't get back on cart. Ah, oh, no. it was so close. I do think swapping off of the Reinhardt was actually a big mistake there from Atlanta. And Boston will go up 2-0 in this series. Yeah, I would have to agree with you on that one. Uh, Ryan was the it was the win condition against Shatter, and if you know you can't play around Shatter, then uh, you just kind of lose. Yeah, was, man, Dab doing his absolute best in that in that game um, to try and pull that out. But the battle between him and Ando was kind of incredible. And then you kind of got to think, you know, those two were fighting, being pretty even. And then I think Triton was just getting a bit more value than Hypernaut. Hypernaut had his moments where he did get some really big pickoffs, but I think Triton was getting more consistent um, damage and pickoffs in. I think that's a little bit of the difference. The tank lines looked very back and forth throughout the whole series. The supports also back and forth. Uh, I do think they need to figure out a way to be able to shut down both Onda and Triton. It feels like they can shut mm -hmm. down one but they're really struggling to shut down both at the same time. I, I really feel like prioritizing uh, on the over Triton, what it is also just, it's probably the better decision because uh, Onda was definitely getting massive value while, you know, Triton was just poking in, you know, forcing out a, a couple of resources. But I think that Onda was definitely doing like the brunt of the damage and, um, just being able to put pressure on the widow to make sure that you know your DPS can be facilitated, uh, mm -hmm. I think that's m way more important. Well, we saw Hypernut trying to take that widow duel, but mm -hmm. Onda just won it over and over again, yeah. like four or five fights in a row. Which it's just kind of sometimes one widow is on fire and the other widow's struggling a little bit, and it's just just the way it is. Uh, so that was kind of unfortunate. Now. Unfortunately, Dab was able to kind of equalize that at times, um, but in the end, it was Boston just being able to clutch out that last fight, which looked so close. I mean, that Diva Bomb was huge, but already the Shatter, um, or already the Ryan had killed two and then had that Shatter to just be able to close it out. And that's what I was so scared of when I saw anime come back on that wrecking ball i was like man if you had just if you charge like your charge gets you back almost as quickly there was no super super rush that you would need to swap to the ball and, mm. and i think that was kind of what uh, in the end gave it over to boston but yeah. i understand feeling that pressure and, and in game it, it, you can't really judge somebody for making that decision it's definitely definitely scary whenever it's just you know if if, if you have to choose um uh, you know, putting that, that 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 amount of pressure on a person is just kind of scary, honestly. And uh, you know, I I hope I hope that he knows uh, that you know it wasn't wasn't his fault that he lost that they lost that, but it it, it could have helped if he had stayed on. Line. For sure, yeah. All right. Um, it looks like there will be a halftime, so I'm gonna take that opportunity to get up, walk around, um, refill my water, all that kind of thing, and then I will be back shortly hopefully they do not start without me but they have been asking if we're ready so um i will be back in a little bit let me start up some music here all right and i will be right back all right
Alrighty, and I am back. Let's see, I think I saw before I left. Yeah, they have pulled Nightmare out and I've put Same in. So that is interesting. Same is a Platinum tank. So I wonder, yeah, they put Alley Later in as well. So um, Alley Later for EDP, Same in for Nightmare. <clears throat> I think it's interesting they go up 2-0 and then they do make some swaps. Be interesting to see whether they can keep up the pressure. How's everybody in chat doing? Well, we have some time. I don't think they asked if we're ready yet. I'll make sure. I'll be with you in a second. All good. We'll look at the rosters here real quick. Oh, Mosquito making another highlight reel. Pog, Pog. Love to hear it. Always pretty nasty. Oh, we'll be looking, Mosquito, don't you worry. Oh, they're gonna use some timeout to use one of a long break here. We can relax. I was looking at, so, Atlanta's only lost two matches this entire season. And it was in week two where they got 3-0'd by Seattle, which was a totally different team at the time. And then they got 3-0'd by AG in week eight, which I think was a big surprise to everybody uh, at the time. <laughs> oh, I, I'm so sorry, that was the wrong button. <laughs> yeah, all good. We were just talking about Mosquito anyway. Um... I'm trying to think, so, okay, so Atlanta lost to those two teams. HG just lost, though, in their last match versus London. But then London lost to, um, but then London lost this week to Boston 3-0. This is, oh. Lots of stuff is happening. I was trying to see if there's any correlations, but not really. Um, but this would just be the third loss for Atlanta all season if they do end up losing. Uh, every single map match that they have lost this season has been 3-0. <laughs> do you think they can break that curse? Uh, I sure hope so. 
like so Ooh. they have they've either three zeroed or three been three zeroed every single match except for their week seven match where they went three one um versus london so it's kind of kind of interesting there that they they seem like a team that's very momentum driven yeah for sure uh yeah momentum is actually a huge factor in um in winning games actually you know you can either keep up team for now or completely put it down yeah um yeah. and uh i think people underestimate like the the power of momentum and uh i remember uh let's see what was it was it week week two or week two uh us against um boston or florida against boston and uh three, you know they ended yeah. up they ended up uh being able to um regain that momentum on us and uh like you know we're reverse swept and uh you know that's always that's always scary Mo momentum i think is completely underrated well that's the thing right boston is the number two seed in the in the league but the thing you have to keep in mind florida is the number one but in the match, Florida versus Boston, Boston did win that match. Now it was very close, 3-2, and as you said, it was a reverse sweep. But that's, I mean, this is potentially, like, the team that you're expecting to kind of see, like, Boston versus Florida, like, finals. This could potentially be um, the team that you're going to see in the finals. And they're, they've been showing tonight that they are at a very high uh, st standings right now because they're playing some teams that both the teams that they're playing tonight we expect to be in the playoffs. London maybe won't be in the playoffs depending on whether they win their next match um if they win their next match they will be and then both of these teams would be playoff teams that they have already beaten potentially if they win this next map 3-0 both <clears throat> i zoned out <laughs> i'm so sorry oh you're fine i was just, i was just saying just some standing okay. stuff uh, so you're all good okay Please. have we not dropped a map in eight weeks I don't, I don't think so that would be crazy I, I can't see because right now this for some reason our our, our uh, standing thing is messed up on our sheet it only shows week eight for some reason but but no because we lost in week three three two but we may not have lost since then oh i guess yeah if we hadn't lost since then it would have been uh what seven weeks seven games in a row i can't remember if we dropped any maps i don't remember or not anyway yeah we've done pretty well for ourselves as well yeah oh yeah you know just just uh mosquito carry <laughs> <laughs> We have oh, lots no. of carries. Yeah, we have we have a lot of carries on. Who is better, Floater or Boston? Well, you were kind of asking a biased uh, audience right here. <laughs> <laughs> you got two <laughs> two Florida players casting. So, um, but realistically, I mean, again, if you're being a hundred percent like non-biased, you would say Boston beat Florida last time they played. So potentially, Boston's a stronger. Um, I think Boston struggled more lately, so people, you know, everybody was just assuming Florida was the better team, but it was mostly because they had some tank swap ups, and now you're seeing again. We saw Nightmare come in. Nightmare looks incredible. They seem to between Storm, Storm and uh, Night, uh, Nightmare together just look like an incredible tank line. And I think that was one of the things that they had really been struggling with. So that again, Boston looks like an incredible team. Florida has been looking incredible as well. I'm I'm hoping now some of some people are hoping that we, you know we can play them in the in the semis, but I I think Boston's going to be the number two team, so they should be on the other side of the bracket. I'm hoping to see them in the finals. I think that would be the epic rematch if if we can manage to if Florida can manage to beat Atlanta next week and go undefeated this entire season except for Boston, and then play Boston in the finals. That's our grudge match. <laughs> that is where we come in and we want to say, hey, you beat us once, you don't beat us again. But that's also Boston's time to be able to say, hey, we beat you once, we're going to beat you again and solidify themselves as that number one team in the league. So um, 
something to watch out for. Obviously, there's going to be five, four other teams in the playoffs, so all those teams are going to be looking to also um, show them show what they have um, in in the playoffs as well. So definitely not a guaranteed matchup that there will be those two in the finals. Um, you may see one or neither of them in the finals potentially, but um, that's something I'm I'm hoping that will be the finals matchup. Yeah, me too. Well, mostly because I want to be in the finals match. But um, I just think, you know, I don't... Honestly, no matter who's in the finals, I think we're looking to see some exciting matches regardless. I think playoffs are going to be a lot of powerhouse teams. And uh, it's just going to be overall really, really exciting. True. I mean, something you have to keep in mind is if somebody does beat Boston or Florida for that final spot... Um, they have to be better than those teams so it should just be a, a, an incredible match either way no matter mm. who gets there uh, i think it would kind of be a shame if boston and florida are on the same bracket and have to go against each other before finals All in semis that would be but i think the only way that could happen is if atlanta reverse sweep here which is still a possibility um but i think if boston wins this game i think that will solidify them especially if they win 3-0 that should solidify them as the number two um or number one i think it'll be then between boston and florida fighting for that number one number two spot but i think both of them are locked in as number one and number two at that point mm -hmm. i think we are still waiting i keep tapping in to make sure <laughs> we're not missing anything but i think we're good so how, how are you doing today kill I haven't asked you that today, so oh, might it's, as well ask now. It's been, it's been a weird day. I went to sleep at a somewhat decent time, and then my body sometimes <laughs> just decides it's time to sleep all day, and since I don't have a job right now, I just slept till 5 p.m. So <laughs> got up a little bit and then got on, casted a game, took a bit of a break, and I'm casting this game. So um, my day is just getting started, but <laughs> how's your day been? Um, you know, they started out a little iffy. It got good in the middle, though. So, That's good. you know, I, I think o overall it was a pretty okay day. You turned your day around, maybe, like Atlanta is looking to turn their game over <laughs> <right now. laughs> You know, you know, honestly, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to root for Atlanta here. I think, I think that they can pull it out. I'm hoping they at least take a map or two. Like, uh, I think this match is, especially that last map was super close. And it's always mm -hmm. sad to see teams that match up so well then have a 3-0 scoreline because like you want it to be a really really good competition and then for the scoreline to kind of um, show that you want to see more maps from a good team like that my voice doesn't necessarily want more maps to be played <laughs> <laughs> but i would love to watch uh, i love good overwatch and so far this has been a very good match yeah for sure i've you know i think that overall like the parts of the teams combined, they're on pretty even footing here. Uh, and but it, it's unfortunate, just like you said, for um, for the for the teams to you know not get that chance to uh, you know continue rolling it out and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Well, something. Look at look at. I, I don't know if we I talked about this much yet, but we see now Oreos coming in for the side of Atlanta. We see Same and Alley later coming in for Boston. So actual normally it's lately i feel like in series we haven't seen a lot of roster swaps but now we have a diamond dps coming in for um the side of atlanta and we have i think we said same as a plat tank and adelaide is also a plat support so potentially we could see some different outcomes here um ftb says sup gamers hello ftb um been a good game so far. It is 2-0, but I think it, the, the scoreline doesn't quite uh, say everything that's been played. And then also, Lota is here. Says, hi, Kill Feeder. And asks, is that bees? <laughs> it is indeed bees. Hello, Lota. It is, in fact, a bunch of bees. Sheesh. <laughs> sheesh. Get some sheesh. Y'all ready? Oh, we ready. We were born ready. All right, kill the music. We getting right back into the action here on Blizzard World. I, right, what do you think about Atlanta taking them to Blizzard World? 
Um, well, I think it's definitely advantageous, especially for the Hanzo here. Um, and uh, I think on second point, they could really make um, anime anime saint could really make a doomfist work. But I think overall, um, you know, I, I like Blizzard World as a map pick for uh, for Atlanta here. We also see acid in. Oh, Acid, Massive. Yeah, back in with the Master's Tank. Um, it confused me. I knew that, but I saw Acid on the Genji, and I was like, wait a second, what on earth is happening? <laughs> so, um, yeah, Acid back in on the tank. So I would assume it's going to be Anime, Oreos on the DPS. Oh, no, Anime back on the DPS. Wolf onto the tank. This Wolf, I thought Wolf was a tank player as well. Yeah, so they are, they are a diamond DPS. So they're running a double diamond DPS lineup now. Um, our um, Atlanta with the Anime Saint Acid tank lineup. And ooh, it looks like it will be double bubble. Oh, this is the comp that they ran earlier. I think Boston looked really, really good on this comp. Interesting to see. I do like. I see. I think the thing that um, Atlanta has going for them here that they didn't, that London didn't versus this comp is the Diva. I think the Diva is going to help a ton against this double bubble setup with uh, Onda over onto this Echo who looked so strong earlier in the day. So Sombra on the field. Let's see if they can't get any impactful hacks. I really, I really like this Echo pick here. Honestly, Echo is so strong in this map. There is a Mercy for the Echo as well, though the Mercy seems to be playing more with the team. The aggressive dive in, Stormgate barely kept alive there. Nicely done by the supports in the Zarya to keep them up, and Charlie goes down! Oh my. That is an That's incredible a, pick. It's very, very good for uh, uh, Boston here. To jump into the back line, splitting up the attention, Anime Saints shield now being focused far behind the rest of his team, and yeah, his DPS will now go down. He's gonna get taken out. Lucio should also be killed here, although we'll survive for the time being. But yeah, I think it's actually just gonna go on to the point. We'll end up dying, and man, yeah, that's what you're talking about. Just it's kind of oppressive, especially because um, unless Oreos can kill again, it, it seems like it's the same idea we were talking about in the London match, where it's just the McCree trying to deal with both DPS. The Sombra is just looking for hacks, but can't really get kills. Although, okay, Stormgate just goes down in the front line. You know, uh, to be completely honest, I'm not a big fan of Sombra here. Yeah, I'm not uh, either. Especially with Brawl. I just don't think there's not enough, you know, front line pressure. Well, there's no Wrecking Ball. There's, there's no Doomfist to try and hack. The nice counter charge onto the copy. Reinhardt. Will they be able to get this copy shattered? No. See them, but Charlie's down again. They're really Man focusing overseas. down this map. Did they really? Yes. <laughs> I missed out on that one. I was Ali, watching. Ali was nano there. All right, popping off. I hear the Mercy Blasters going off as well, trying to get some more old charge there towards the end. And now they do have the EMP. They have EMP. They have bomb. If they want to combo those, they also have the shatter. I I think the Shatter should pretty much be free. We'll see if he can't get value or not. There is Bubbles from the Zarya. There's also the Winston Bubble you have to watch out for. Looking for it now. Winston Bubble's out. Is antied. Oh no. Oh, EMP is EMP, out. But enemies Anti was huge though. though. I think actually that will be able to clutch it for them. Should be able to win this fight off of that. There are still four up here though. The 4v5, they will back out. So, big EMP fight win, but again, if you're only winning EMP fights, you're gonna be in a bit of trouble. Yeah, I, I definitely think another factor working against um, Atlanta here is the fact that they're not running Baptiste against this, against Dive. Um, Baptiste is just so strong. But, yeah, no I mean, map, no So break. is Antinade, but uh, we just kind of have to hope for the best for them. Bomb shatter? Oh my! Huge! They missed the nano as well. I don't know if I agree with that. But in the end, they will win the fight. Wait, Copy comes, comes out. out. Ooh, okay. Well, that's really good actually for Atlanta. I think if Boston had just taken that fight and just used like the Valk, they would have been in a really good spot. They still have the 
cop or the soldier visor, which I would assume he's going to try and take this high ground. And they have the grav, but man, they would have loved to have that copy for the grav. Uh, they have beat and creel on the defense still. Man, I think they would still really be loving that nano though. Nano would be really strong in this fight. Anime 63% back up to his ult though. That's nice. Aggressive dive in. Supports keeping each other up. Anti into the grab. Beat and shatter. High noon. Two traded back. Even fight. And actually, Atlanta is coming out on top here. Although, yeah, in the end, Atlanta will be a bit ahead. Oh. There is trades back and forth, but I think because the Reinhardt is still up here, he just gets to swing away and same trying to. Although, we'll get the oh, pick no. there. That's... Th they could. Uh, Boston, or not Boston, yeah, you know, Boston, Boston could take a very, uh, very early, uh, uh push here. Uh, with... I don't think they will, there's Zarya, there's Zarya is so far back, although they do, they push out without him, they push out with their Lucio or Zarya and somehow get the pick onto Oreos, who must have just been a little bit away from his shields, but ooh, there's the EMP, it is huge, can they get follow up, anime down though. Traded for the Kree, but I think you'd rather have the Reinhardt than the Kree here. And Nano Visor. This is a scary combo if you can't get away from it. Stun. Doesn't even care. Knows he has that Nano, so it doesn't matter. We'll get two picks off with that. And they do rotate through the cart, does um, Atlanta, which is good. I think if you're going to die, die on the cart here. Although they're kind of going into the side room. I don't like that. I think they should have stayed on the cart. Because now the cart is pushing for free. And it is vi or High Noon. And Tanko's coming up very soon versus just the Nano, potentially the Shatter coming up from the defense. And Acid gets staggered so badly. Uh, high Noon. Well, this High Noon is kind of scary here, honestly. Oh, nope. the, yeah. They're not that able to pick him out or sleep him or hack. Like, there was a lot of things that shut down that High Noon, but nobody must have had the cooldowns or was in the position to be able to shut it down. And that's, that's really rough, too, because they, they invested the Nano onto anime saint and he just had to stand there and shield but eventually actually did just get picked off by the high knee yeah i mean that's i think that's one of the situations where you know high noon is actually useful it's just completely zoning out the enemy team and uh you know if you don't have the cooldowns to deal with it you kind of just lose exactly i mean it deals pretty much unlimited damage in that situation no diva to eat it yeah, no exactly. honest sleep an anti onto the zarya forces out immort can they get the Immort before the bomb? No, but it does take down the Immort, but Sombra's already down. So is the Lucio. The flank High Noon does not get anything. Uh, Ooh, shatter? Well, that's a massive Shatter. Nano, but he gets Shattered in turn. Charged into the wall. Still has Nano. Charge misses, but Acid cleaning up in the meantime. Any more value or stall here? No, the Zarya pressing them out, but there's two people in the back line there. Lucio and Sombra. What a chaotic fight here. Acid trying it in his best to start out. We'll get out with his life. Never kept alive by Charlie. They have the beat here. I think they may have to invest it, although there's a grab. Anti onto the Kree. Don't think there's any follow up on that. They need this EMP. They need it now. They can cancel all this. They can cancel it all. It's huge. Oh. But the beat's a bit too late. Although Acid again with two picks. And I think anime is probably going to win this Ryan 1v1 if he keeps swinging. High noon from the back line. Gets the Ana. Wait, this fight is swapping up again. Bomb breaks the shield. Acid back into the mech. Doesn't get stunned out of it. Able to get away with his life. And Wolf takes out Ryan. This fight is so chaotic. I have no idea who wins. But the, in the end, defensive spawns are better. And... After such a long fight, Boston have to back up and only have 10 or 15 ish seconds to get back here. Nano for the defense, but grab and window. This could be the combo. We've seen this combo actually win them before. Oh, hack under the right. Oh, that is a big. Anime needs this shatter now. Oh no, the shatter's on both sides. Trade both supports window down. Was, window was a little bit misplaced, so. It's just the tanks. Shatter gets nothing. This is gonna be Boston's fight to win now. Lucio will be able to touch, but for how long? One second. Anna won't even be able to get there. And... Oh, this doesn't unstealth. That's so unlucky. Once again, it's it's um 
Boston capping in overtime, and you're happy with that. Again, it's kind of like, um, what was that map? Havana, where it's like, if you can cap all three points on that map, you are perfectly happy. It's the same thing here. They will be happy with that push. They get to go again as long as they can hold. Um, even if even if um, Atlanta caps full, as long as they hold... Oh, I can't get over there, apparently. As long as they can hold for... Uh, um, under a minute left at the end, they will get another push. So, or do they tie? I forget if they both cap with overtime. Oh uh, no, no, no! Uh, both team gets a minute um, to uh, right. to you know get it as far as. Yeah, can. I was trying to remember if that was the way it worked or not. I know if one yeah. capped with like one second, then it would boost it up to a minute, like a minute and one. But I couldn't remember if they both capped in overtime. What would happen? Yeah, wait, mm, wait, no. Now I'm, now I'm, <laughs> now I'm wondering. Am I, am I wrong? I could be wrong. I don't know. I, I, I can't tell you that. Normally, I know most any answer to Overwatch questions, but for some reason, I just can't uh, think of I'm that one today. Pretty, pretty sure that if they both full cap, that they get a minute. I, it seems like they should, but <laughs> who knows? We'll find out if it happens. I guess. One. All right, and it will be Doomfist now. Animate onto the Doom. They're doing Doom Sombra. I think this is a terrible map for that comp, especially against a farmer. See, um, and a soldier. It's gonna be really hard for them to deal with the DPS uh, from the side of Boston. But it is a comfort pick for Anime, so maybe they can get something done there. Mm -hmm. Uh. Well, they are not running Kree, so I think that they should be okay, honestly. They got a nice dive onto Triton, who was hacked, but he just jumps down. The anti's big, but they weren't ready to capitalize on it. Now they dive in again. Triton down. Nice jump by Doomfist, and Acid actually takes out the Pharah. Rez will come in, try to boop it off, but ooh, nice cancel or nice hack there onto the Mercy. Acid just pressuring out Triton. Acid being a menace to the enemy DPS, and in the end, Maybe I was completely wrong. This double or this um, hack fist looking incredible on the first point. They both get a full minute if they cap. All right, good to know. Um, Triton now over onto the Kree. I think this is a really good swap. Um, and we'll see now if it was just the fact that they got caught off guard or whether um, Atlanta is really going to make me eat my words and see if this comp really is that strong on this <laughs> map. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think I think uh, this is gonna be kind of scary against Safara though. Yeah, and uh -oh. Onda now has the barrage. He's gonna be looking for it here. Gets Magnomaly just with a regular death click. Also is pressing out Charlie. He may be able to take that one out too. Yeah, both oh. supports down. We'll also get the Doomfist probably here. Now that will be a fight win for them. Acid still trying to get value, will retreat, but this may be a rough stagger onto Acid. Will just go to yeah. the edge, jump off. Mm, all right, so we have three ultimates up. Almost, actually, EMP could be really big here, um, but there's a ton of ults up for both sides, and I think Ana's really gonna be looking, trying to look for Acid to be out of position, and gets the Ana again. Why, why can't I find him? Where is he? There he is. Gets the Ana again early in this fight, which is going to be brutal stagger. Can he get this Doomfist too? Oh, so close. Oh. I don't agree with this fight that they're taking right now. They're kind of <laughs> just taking poke. Frighten has built up to the, the high noon already. They're about to have six ults on the defense. Six ults for both teams. It's going to be a mess now. Oh, EMP does catch the fair. Oh. No. oh. And well, they get a couple trades back. Acid still doing his best to try and get his team over this mark, but will get demeched. The Sombra will get Boston, picked here, Boston I think. Does, uh, does get the res off on Storm Gig, so any any hope for that fight was automatically lost as soon as that res came out. Yeah. Now there were actually it was three ults used both teams, so in the end it comes out pretty e even. Anime will have that extra ultimate, but same has the grab as well. So it's gonna be four v four ultimates, and that stagger again from um, Anda, who has just looked so good today on like every character that he's played. 
Yeah, on this kind of in popping off like I don't I don't think he, he oh, okay never I was gonna say I was gonna say he, he has not lost many duels but here's one Caster cursed him a little bit there <laughs> Yeah just a tiny bit <coughs> Oh I'm dying you see primal come out Nano primal of all things but isn't getting a whole lot done the meteor strike is out looking where that's gonna go Looks like it goes on to the point but it is just a trade. Uh, I think in the end, you probably would rather have the position. Although, with that Pharaoh going down, Windows not the greatest where it is, but Acid a little bit too close to the Reinhardt will get the mech. Anime gets the support. It's a trade battle, but again, it disfavors the defense. They have much better spawns. They will give him a little bit more cart push, but it's just Baby Diva wins another win. He gets a pick somehow, but it's just Baby Diva. She will get shut down from re -mecking and. <laughs> Two minutes left, not bad, but I still don't, look at this, five ultimates in the defense versus zero from Atlanta. That's brutal, especially when yeah. it, it seems like only, mm -hmm. Atlanta's only been winning by investing ults in some of these fights with the comp that they're running. Uh, I think you're looking to acid to have to shut down Barrage, High Dune, Grav. Uh, all at the same time. <laughs> Anime is going to switch off right now, so I think um, Atlanta or uh, Atlanta is going to be con con trying to control their aggression here oh, and not. Tracer. Oh, never mind. <laughs> and immediately the on it down, on it over and above. Acid trying to pressure, but Shatter was invested, didn't get much. But in the end, it won't really matter. Acid getting staggered a little bit, and now the Mercy and the Ash need to get out of here. They can't afford to get staggered more. It's a minute left. Onda looking for that stagger as well. Barraging for miles away. And uh, gets it. Gets it. Fortunately, that was a brave. But the res will come out, and I don't think they will be able to res Onda. So uh, I'm not sure I agree with that barrage oh. there. Yeah, that was uh, a little Ambitious. bit wasteful. <laughs> oh, no, the Bob. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Poor Bob I... will not get any value. I think that was going to be their win con for this. Oh, unless, wait, unless somebody walks into there. it. Oh my and the goodness. Bomb. Acid, two pickoffs now. Winnable fight, Anti onto the Rhine. Uh, onto does beat anime in the 1v1. So I'm getting on fire, getting low. Man, Wolf with three pickoffs there at the end. Just the Tracer to try and stall this out. Lucio will be able to come back in if they want to stall it as well. Ooh, the High Noon gets Magnomaly. The Lucio's back. Nano out, that should be it though. Nano onto the Winston. Boston did waste lamp there, so we should uh, Atlanta should be able to get the stagger kills here. If they want to push it, which I think they should. Yeah, they get Spoon, they get Triton, another ult invested, which I don't know if they needed it, but he didn't want to die. And in the end, it's a tracer coming back here from Onda, but I think maybe Onda will even get staggered. Or nope, we'll get out. And this is some night card nice card push, but again, look at this. Three ultimates. What's gonna block the shatter? Can they eat the grab? And they also have the window, and there is one minute left. They need to win here, does Atlanta. And uh, it's gonna be hard. Here comes Sorgrim with the shatter. Ready yeah, to I'm go. a little nervous about the shatter, I'm not gonna lie. The, wind, the bubble's down, the wind is gonna die here. Bomb is out, but kind of a weird angle. And they Ooh. grab bomb, man. That was huge. I kind of missed it a little bit, but. We saw the aftermath of it, and now Charlie will get staggered on the Ana, I think. No, we'll get out. Oh, Charlie's able to get out. Man, this is... This is scary if uh, you're Atlanta. Yeah, uh, you, there has to be a Bob that gets massive value here. Also, I just don't think it's going to be winnable for uh, Atlanta. The Shatter is the huge win condition. Here it comes. And there it, it comes. Several. It's extremely early, though. True. Maybe the Winston can get back if they can stall this out. Bob gets immediately deleted again by the High Noon. We've seen that a couple times today. And, oh, Oreos is gonna get picked off. They, can they touch? They get the Nano onto Acid. The Ana is now dead. Acid doing his best with the Mercy Valk. Stay alive. They do get pick on a Spoon, but the beat is enormous. Rez, can it come off? No, it is just the Winston now and the Baby Diva. Winston goes down, Baby Diva trying to stall, will not be able to touch. And in the end, it will be Boston completing double three O's back to back tonight. Man, that was a that was a really fun match to watch, honestly. Like you know, even 
even if it didn't end up, you know, even if it was a 3-0, it was a very close 3-0, to be fair. Yes, I mean, every map was a lot closer than uh, either team probably wanted it to be. Um, uh, you know, one or two more fights going the other way. Uh, you could have seen Atlanta take, you know, several of these maps. Um, but in the end, it is, once again, Boston looking solid. I mean, they, they started the season off incredibly strong. Looked like the strongest team in the league there for a while after beating Florida. And then they kind of tapered off a little bit. They dropped a match. They were starting to drop some maps here and there to teams that you wouldn't expect them to drop them to. But now, coming out tonight and beating London and um, Atlanta, te teams that you expect to both be in the playoffs, you know, the number three team ranking-wise right now, 3-0, uh, this, is, this is a scary Boston team. Yeah. Uh, that, you know, honestly... I, I was a I, I was a bit surprised from Boston uh, today. In all it, com complete honesty, uh, that was really close. Um, uh, and I think I was I was expecting Atlanta to at least take a map, but Boston really held their own. And I I think that uh, man, their tank line is looking extremely strong here. I think I think that's where their real power lies. And uh, you know, on the uh, on just popping off. But I think um, just their tanks being able to facilitate and make space for their DPS to pop off um, is is really really where their power lies. Oh, 100%. I think that's I think that's something we've seen throughout this season more than any other season. I is I think the tank lines throughout the league have really really leveled up. I feel like in the past tank lines weren't that strong, and it was normally. Mm -hmm. I feel like it was normally like the DPS lines were really strong and then the tank lines were kind of lacking. I think now we're starting to see everything. I mean, even the support line, like all, it's just the entire, throughout the entire season, I think we've seen just rosters in general have just leveled themselves up, whether that's been through new pickups, but also I think a lot of the players that have played this season, because the competition has been so high, I think you've seen a lot of these players really level up their own play. Um, and it's just it it's making for some fantastic games, and I think we'll make for an incredible playoffs this uh, this season as we look towards it. I, I mean, we we are running really low on regular season games now. I mean, we probably have I think we have like one or two more this weekend, and then we have next week, which I think we'll have six because I think one got delayed till next week, and then it's playoff times. I mean, that's it, it'll be it's coming up really really quick. Yeah. Um, it's very exciting. Um, all right. Well, I think that is it for us tonight. Um, so thank you very much for casting. Also, uh, I think you did a fantastic job. Um, hopefully everybody else appreciated as well that, uh, you were able to come out and help me because my voice is already dying. If it had been <laughs> just me, I would have been in some trouble. So, um, yeah. You have any last thoughts before we close out the stream? Uh, you know, um, uh, I just... Uh, well, first of all, I'd like to say, uh, you know, thank you for asking me to come. I, it, it was a good time. Um, you know, just pushing me a little bit out of my comfort zone, and yeah, I, I don't really get out of that very often. So it was it was a lot of fun uh, getting to watch these matches as well. And um, you know, uh, I'm I'm excited to see what the future is going to bring for you know all of Mal and uh, especially with um, you know how how tonight's game went, um, or tonight's games went. Uh, I just think I think that no matter who's in the who's in the playoffs, um, it'll it'll end up being a really good time. For sure, I totally agree. And yeah, thanks for coming. Like, I, I'm really glad you came out. I think you did an excellent job. I'm not just saying that. Like, it, <laughs> it was really smooth. I think you know a lot of your your analysis was really solid. So I had a really fun time. And uh, hopefully we'll do it again sometime. Or you know, you, there's always a possibility that you can find yourself your own co-caster because normally i do do it with ftb or whatever mm -hmm. if you are interested in continuing to do it so all um, righty well that is it for us um that'll um we will see you guys hopefully i'll be casting again next week we'll see how um availability is and all that but we will see you next time <laughs>